So today we're going to look at 4 and 5 sixths plus 3 and 4 ninths. So we are adding mixed fractions. We would like to share their strategy in solving this equation first. Let's start with you. I need the, 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 the six and the nine, the denominators are the same. You made the denominators the same here and here. Why did you do that? Since you can't add the numbers, and if you add it up, you'll do the right answer. So you need, you need a common denominator. Yeah. What's that also called? LCM, which is the lowest common multiple. So you need to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 9. So we'll call that the lowest common multiple, LCM. So how would you find it? Is there a strategy we can use that we can visually see? Visually see. Hint, hint. What the lowest common multiple would be? Isha. So you're saying you want to change the mixed fractions into improper fractions. Why do you want to do that? Okay. How about we just keep it like this for now? But that's another way you can do it is to change it into improper fractions. I like that idea. But in this situation, you might find that you are doing it, making an extra step that you don't really want. Aaliyah. Let's make a chart. So let's start with the 6 here. Let's start with the 9 here. So we're trying to find all these multiples. Okay? So can you guys give me multiples of 6? Go ahead, Ali. 6? Yes. Give me a couple more. Yes? Okay, stop right there. So ba basically a multiple is when you multiply the number, right? So what are multiples of 9? Nine? 9, 18, give me a couple more. Yes. Okay, let's stop right there. Have we found a number that is the same? Miriam. 18, so 18 is here. And 18 is here. So how do we get from 6 to 18 using multiplication? Isha. 6 times 3, and then there's 1, 2, 3. So 6 times 3 equals 18. And then with 9, how do we get to 18 using multiplication? Yes. 9 times 2, correct. So there's 1, 2. 9 times 2. So now comes the tricky part. How we know we have to convert this to 18. So if we change this to 18, what can we not forget to do? We cannot forget to do this or else. Yeah. Right, what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So multiply this by 3, multiply this by 3. And this one here becomes what? What do we do with this one? Virg. Times by 2. And then if you do the bottom one times 2, what do you do to the top one? Right, multiply that by 2 as well. So I'm going to rewrite this question. Anisha, you will see now why I'm not converting this to improper fractions. Keep the 4. So now 5 times 3 is 15. And 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 3 stays the same. 4 times 2 is 8. 9 times 2 is 18. So now we can do a little bit of adding. What do we add first? Or does it matter what we add first? Atiyah. Yeah. Let's add the whole numbers first. So 4 plus 3. Last time I checked, it's 7. And now what do we need to add? Fire. Okay, so now we're going to add 15 over 18 plus 8 over 18. We know the denominator stays the same when we add. What is our numerator now? It's 23. Now, can we leave it like this? 7 and 23 over 
18. No. Can we leave it like that? Okay. Leah, what do you think? No. No, what should I do? Can we do that though? Is there is there a way to shrink the 18 and take down the 23 at the same time? Elias? Is that possible though? What's 23 minus 18? You told me to do 23 minus 18. It gives me 5. So 5 over 18 is it possible to reduce the number? It's not possible. But why did you do 23 minus 18? Because uh, it's an Okay. So this is another hole right here, right? Because 18 over 18 would be one hole. So 23 over 8, 20, sorry, 23 over 18, how many pieces do we need to make a hole here? Pretend this is a really large pizza. How many slices does this really large pizza have? Taha. 23 total, but how much does one pizza have? 18. We have 23. So 23 minus 18 leaves us with five leftover slices. And we've already created that one pizza. Because we're, when, the new, when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, that tells us we have at least one whole. So now we have seven from here. This has now turned into one and five eighteenths. But since we have another whole, we can add the whole again, eight. And what's left over? is 5 eighteenths.